It's not clear just how much of a betting bill Art Schleister ran up. Some reports put it at close to $400,000. Others say it may be double that. The dollars don't seem to matter, though. It was Schleister's compulsive gambling that got the quarterback indefinitely suspended from the Baltimore Colts. Schleister's problem is not unique. It's estimated there may be some two to three million people nationwide who are pathological gamblers, and most don't know it. A compulsive gambler is really somebody who can't think of anything else but gambling. Their whole life revolves around it. They eat, sleep, drink, dream gambling. It was to Dr. Robert Custer that Schleister's attorneys and the NFL turned for help. Just about a year ago, Custer set up a foundation for the study and treatment of pathological gambling. This office is probably just about as far removed as you can get from a sports arena. As you can see, most of the rooms here are dark and virtually empty. But this is just the beginning, just the start of what will be the first national complex for the research and treatment of pathological gamblers. People who can't stop betting are hooked the same way alcoholics are. Compulsive gamblers also seem to fit a certain mold, not unlike Arch Leister's. We are described as bright, energetic, hardworking, competitive, uh, successful in school, uh, well-liked, articulate. Uh, this is an individual who looks destined for success. And many like Schleister are athletic. Somewhere along the line, this person starts gambling, and the cycle begins. For the compulsive gambler, it grows out of control. The compulsive gambler's story can have a happy ending. The problem is very treatable. That is, if you can find help. Right now, there are only 17 treatment centers nationwide. The mission of Dr. Custer's foundation is to improve the odds of getting help, and he's betting he can. In Washington, Andrea Fleischer, WSB News.